This is Piers Morgan Live. He's being called the breakout star of 2013 while co-writing songs and touring with the delectable Taylor Swift. Singer-songwriter Ed Sheeran joins us now. Well, Mr Sheeran, haven't you done well for a boy who... This is my favourite picture of the year. You said yourself you were a weird kid when you were little. I wore big glasses, had hearing problems, had a stutter, and I had Look ginger hair. And we have a picture confirming, well, wow. at least some of that. Yeah. When you look at that little boy, yeah. what are you thinking? Hang on. You'll sprout <laughs> soon. It'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are you surprised at the speed of your ascent? Um... It depends. In, in, in different countries, yes. I think, I think if you put in the work and the ascent happens, it's, it's an unsurprising thing. But Australia, for instance, like we've sold more there than places like Germany where I've been 30, 40 times and I've been to Australia three times. So some, some places I'm very surprised at the ascent and some places where like I've, I've been, now been in America for a year straight. Mm. Um, now it's starting to happen here. It's a bit like, OK, cool, that should be happening after all this sort of stuff. But yeah, Aust Australia was surprising for me. I loved as America, well. I would imagine, remains the holy grail for all singer-songwriters in the end, I'm, I'm still surprised I'm like on single two here, like that I have the opportunity to release single two. Um, for English musicians, America is always an untouchable thing and it's always somewhere where you'll go and do a little bit of promo, try it out and then just really just do it all at, uh, at home and uh, break, break England. But so I think since Adele and One Direction and Mumford and & Sons and all these people have had massive amount of success here, uh, American radio are taking a bit more interest in British acts. You're 22 and you're touring with Taylor Swift, who's 23. Mm -hmm. You're both single. I'm doing the maths here, Ed. Mm. Anything you want to get off your chest? No, no, not... Not necessarily. No truth um, to the rumour I'm just about to invent that she dumped Harry Styles for you? No, the I better think looking extra to, member of to, One Direction? To be honest, when that, uh, when, when that, when that rumour came out, it kind of felt like a bit of, bit of lazy journalism, to be honest, because I think people, wh whenever she's pictured with someone, people say that she's dating them, um, whoever they are. Like, before me, it was Tom O'Dell, and before that, it was the dude from... Um, who uh, <laughs> fosters the people. Like, she, whenever she's pictured with a guy, people, people say that. And I think people were just like... Well, well, yeah, she's going on tour with him for six months, so that's obviously happening. But um, I don't know. I think you can be friends with someone without having to sleep with them. I've got, I've got morals. 